Hey, what's up, Facebook? What's up? We are on night five. Night five of our 30 day social media revival. If you have been missing it the last few nights, you might want to go back to my page and rewatch it. When I tell you, people of God, God has been moving crazy like never before. Um, the revival's topic is the shift is now. I truly believe there's a shifting process going on right now in this season, people of God, and you don't want to miss it. As you come on, act like you already know what to do. I'm excited for this woman of God that is coming on on tonight. When I went to Texas, she was a powerhouse. I am believing that she is coming on tonight to shift someone's atmosphere. Please don't come on here looking crazy. Come on here tagging and sharing do you know that the Bible says where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst. So I am calling on you right now to be obedient. It's better than sacrifice. It's better than a seed, people of God. Hit share and tag somebody. Tag somebody you love. Tag somebody you care about. Tag somebody you want to motivate. On tonight, let me invite a few people. Hallelujah, Jesus, to this live. Come on, people of God. Come on, come on, come on. God is up to something on our behalf. Come on. If y'all see me looking down for a minute, it's because I'm inviting people also. I will not invite you to something uh, or tell you to do something that I wouldn't do myself. So pardon me as I invite a bunch of people to this live also. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. People of God, I don't know. If you just finished cooking Sunday collard greens, baby, I don't know. If you just finished with chillings and ham hocks, I'm not going to judge you on tonight, but you might want to take a minute, baby, because when I tell you this lady don't come to play, you might want to take a minute to get yourself together in position for the shift. Somebody ought to comment below. The shift is now. The shift is now. Thank you. Thank you, Denisha. Tarsha, come on, come on. I need a few people as you watch this begin to tag others just comment below the shift is now last night it was amazing with prophet Isaac Grove the night before that it was amazing with prophet Javon Mill the night before that it was amazing with pastor Jeffrey Pitts the night before that it was amazing with minister Nisi Hamilton but tonight people of God come on for about five more minutes I just need y'all to tag and share about five more minutes I truly believe that someone on tonight is about to be set free. I truly believe that. Watch this tonight. Someone uh, 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 have, I want to say, income taxes and all this other stuff that we are waiting on, people of God. I believe that after the night, somebody is about to get the approve button with a date. I don't know who I'm speaking to on tonight, but baby, for about two more minutes, I just need y'all to tag and share before I bring this mighty, mighty, Mighty woman of God on when I tell you I love everything about this lady. Humbled when I tell you I love everything about this lady. Forgiven when I tell you I, I love everything about this lady. She's rooting for the underdogs because she was once the underdog. So people of God, the shift is now I want you to tag listen tag your bestie tag your bae your boo thing tag them into this live your baby daddy tag them into this live because you don't want them to miss the shift don't be stingy people of God come on come on we're not gonna be stingy on tonight Bernice it's good to see you on here I believe this woman about to bless your whole soul Alice it's good to see you on here I believe this woman is about to bless your whole soul the shift is now just give me a second just give me a second to invite a few more people who I know need this. And if you won't get watching me, looking at me with gold teeth and tattoos and not worried about your friend or your cousin that's going through you crazy, you should be tagging somebody the same way y'all go to the liquor store together, the same way y'all go visit the dope man together, the same way y'all twerking in the clubs together. You should be tagging that person you care about. I am getting ready to bring on this powerhouse 
Pastor Connie Stewart. Hold on, y'all. Let me bring her. I'm excited. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How are you, woman of God? I am blessed. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm great. I'm great. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you um, for accepting the invite um, to uh, my platform um, because I minister to a different type of people. But from the moment, I'm, I'll never forget that day on the stage when you set a blaze in that place in Texas. So it's an honor to have you on my platform, woman of God. I don't know if they hungry, but I know I'm hungry for what's in Come you on. because I've already experienced it, woman of God. The shift is now. You have the floor, woman of God. Let God use you. Amen. Thank you so much, Evangelist. I'm excited to be here. I'm telling you, I've been pacing and walking the floor because I believe that God is getting ready to do something supernatural. When you told me that the theme was the shift is now, I don't think people really understand what that really mm. means. Let me tell you something about a shift. We think a shift is a big thing, but a shift is a small thing. He mm. says, I need to come in and mess with the stuff that you do daily. I need to ah. make some slight movements and some slight changes in the things that you're doing. You've got to understand if he's going to shift your life, he has to first disrupt your life. So yes. to those who have been disrupted, you have been feeling uneasy. Folks have walked away. Folks been lying on you. Folks been talking about you. Folks treating you like a dirty dog. You are the perfect candidate for a divine shift. Let me tell you something. He doesn't come against your direction until uh. you have made a decision. We are smack dab in the middle of divine manifestation. Yes. God is about to do something supernatural in your life. I'm driving in the car one day, and I see a young man run by me fast as Carl Lewis. He's got a backpack on his back, uh, evangelist, and he's running. He's running full speed, but I'm stuck at the light. I don't know if somebody's chasing him. I don't uh. know if somebody's after him. I don't know if he had just robbed a bank. I didn't know what was going. But the Holy Ghost said, I want you to keep looking and watch him. And then I look and realize he's running to the bus stop. Uh. My God. I look behind me, the bus is coming. Mm. But he was on the street that the bus run on. But he realized that was not enough. He had to be in the position yes. where the bus stopped. Many of us have missed the vehicle that God wants to use to get us to our next. Many My of us God. have missed the miracle and the manifestation because we've been in the right place, but we're in the wrong position. So there's a divine shift because he said, I'm not just concerned about your placement, but I'm concerned about your position. Lord, have uh. mercy. we got to be at the right place at the right time with the right people doing the right thing. There's yes. a divine shift. It's coming to shape up everything that concerns you. Some of y'all been scratching your head, trying to figure out what in the world is going on. The shift is now. He gave you 2020 to get it together. He said, but this time I'm moving you out of the way. This one is on me. This is yes. because of my reputation. This is because of the prophecy over your head. This is because Big Mama prayed for you. This is because Paul Paul prayed for you. Yes. This one is personal now. I've got to do what I promised that I would. The shift is right now. He says, listen, my come God. to them tonight and let them know there are three areas that I'm shifting in their life. I said, Lord, what is it? He said, number one, your mindset. Oh. Because if, it, if, it, if it's not in your mind, it won't come out of your mouth. If it doesn't come out of your mouth, it'll never get to your feet. Faith has feet. How does God know you believe what he said? Y'all didn't hear me. I said, mm. faith has feet feet. How does God know that you believe what he said? Your feet start moving. Your yes. feet start going into the direction that he promised. He said, so I've got to shift your mindset. I got to get rid of the thinking, stinking. I got to quit. I got to stop you from looking back and look forward. I need you to know that what's coming is better than what's been. I've got to deal with your mindset. Some of us are so used to fighting that we don't believe it can come easy. My God. Some of us are oh. so addicted to the struggle that we can't handle prosperity. He said, but mm. I've got to shift your mindset. I got to get you to believe me for more. Yes. I got to get you to trust me for more. Sometimes he has to shift our environment so we can see more, so we can ask him for more. Sometimes yes. he has to shift your circle. So you can, ah! oh, honey, I can't hang with these ducks and turkeys no more. Yes. I be an eagle. This is my soaring season. So I got to change my circle. It's not personal, but I'm just going higher. Yes. Oh. 
It's not personal. So he says, I got to shift their mindset, but after I shift their mindset, I got to shift their mouth. Oh, oh yeah. So oh, yeah, you, don't realize you sometimes are the hold up to your own miracle. You are sometimes the hold up to your own breakthrough. What oh. have you said lately? What has your conversation been? Have you been talking about it or you been talking about God? Have you been talking mm. low or have you been talking high? Your confession, your affirmation, your declaration, it does matter. He says you can have whatsoever you say. So what you got is because of what you said. Yes, God. If you broke oh. because you said you would be, I'm going to always be broke. I'll never have enough. Well, guess what? Because you said it, here come the manifestation. Well, oh my what God. happens if you declare increase, abundance, and overthrow? What Woo. happens when you declare prosperity? What happens when you say every promise in the book is mine? It does matter what you say. Somebody shout, watch your mouth. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to watch your mouth. When I was a kid, my mama would say, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Yes. You have to your mouth. I cannot mess up my promise. I cannot speak against my prophecy. I cannot miss my miracle. I got huh. to watch my mouth. He said, death and life are in the power of the tongue. He says, and guess what? No matter what you speak, you're going to eat the fruit thereof. So you better season it with Tony Satchel. You got to be careful what you say in this hour because you just might have to eat your words. I hope they taste good. You got to watch your mouth. You got to ask the Holy Ghost to put a watch on your mouth. Lord, yes, don't let me God. speak evil. Lord, don't let me say it. Lord, don't let me do it. Do My you God. know how many text messages I was getting ready to type and the Lord said, delete, 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 delete. Oh, he said, you got to watch your mouth. He said, you don't have time to deal with the unsa unnecessary. Some of us are so busy trying to explain the unnecessary to uh. the unnecessary. Oh, oh God! Some of us are so busy trying to be affirmed by folk who need affirmation themselves. Oh, God! He says, "So oh. I'm coming after your mindset. I'm coming after your mouth, and I'm coming after your money." Mm. Let me tell you something about money. Money is a spirit wrapped in paper. If you're scared of it, it's scared of you. Uh, so many of y'all have been living too low because you don't believe that you can walk in a dimension of abundance. You don't believe in kingdom money. You don't believe that God is trying to trust you to be a distribution center of wealth. He's trying to help you to be the first in your family, the first one to build a house from the ground up, the yes. first one to get a car off the showroom floor, the first one to be debt free, the first one to pay it in full. Oh my God. Sometimes the hardest thing we can believe God for is to be the first. Nobody in my family has done it. So he'll change yes. the circle and he'll bring people around you who can be a friendly reminder. I know yes. y'all give y'all give Penina a bad rap, evangelist. They talk <laughs> about Penina, but let me tell you something. Penina had a job to do. She was there to make sure Hannah didn't get comfortable. Yes. I was there to make sure you didn't com get comfortable being empty. Sometimes God will put somebody in your life to be oh. an example of what you ought to have in your empty season. Oh, my God. So my here's God. the reality. She wasn't her problem. She was her pusher. Oh, what did Jesus. I do? I pushed you into the presence of God so you could get pregnant. So oh. can we send out an announcement? Beloved, we are not your problem, but we will be your pusher. I'm going to push you into this next season. I'm going to push you into this next shift. I'm going to push you into this next deliverance. I'm going to push yes. you into the healing. I'm not your problem, but I came to be your pusher. I am yes. a sign that you can't live without it. You can't go without it. You can't be without it. I came tonight as a divine sign to somebody who felt like throwing in the towel. Somebody who uh. felt like it wasn't working. So for somebody who felt like it, I better quit. And I'm trying to tell you, if you ain't never, never done nothing else, you better get a grip and hold on because your miracle is around the corner. God yes. is about to do something supernatural in your life. Your breakthrough is happening right now. If you take now and spell it backwards, N-O-W, it's W-O-N. When do you win? Now. You yes. Yeah. Yes. And don't even realize it, huh? honey. Oh. I ain't waiting on my next God blessing me in my now. The shit yeah. is happening now. He's moving me Ooh. now. I'm going to the next level now. My healing is happening now. My breakthrough Ooh. is happening now. My deliverance is happening now. Oh God, some of y'all trying to wait till next month with God trying to do it right now. There is a divine shift. 
that's taking place. I'm talking to 20 of y'all that yo, you've been pulling Ooh. a rumbling down in your belly. You know it's something better than this. You know it's more than this. It's time to start the business. It's time to finish the book. It's yes. time to tell your story. It's time to walk by faith. I came on an assignment tonight to push you into your divine shift. Ah, uh, my God. Woo, Jesus. I came tonight because there's a divine disruption in the heavens. He said, because I got to disrupt you so I can mm. shift you. I said, Lord, what are you talking about? He said, I want you to read Isaiah 43, 19. Behold, behold means to look. I'm trying to tell you, I don't know what you're looking at, but you better take another look. Don't look at your bills, but look at God. Don't yes. look at your sickness, look at God. Don't look at your pain, look at God. Don't look at depression, look at God. I don't know who's the, the spirit of depression. It's on somebody. And I rebuke it now in the name of Jesus. I command it to lift off of you. I Woo. declare a decree. You go rest tonight. I declare a decree the peace of God over your life. Isaiah 43. It says, Behold, look, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? He asked him a question. I will even make a way in the wilderness, in your dry place where you feel like there's no way out. You don't know how you got in this season. You don't know uh. why you're in this trial. You don't know why you're in this testing. Have you ever walked in a building and you're trying to figure out how in the world did you get in there? How in the world did you get in this place? And you never know how you got there. But when you look up, the only sign you see is an empty sign. I may not know how I got in it, but thank God I got a way out. Yes, thank God, God I got a way to escape. Thank God there's an open door. Thank God this is my season of breakthrough. He said, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Mm. The message Bible says, be alert and be present. Mm. Don't get mm -hmm. caught sleeping. Yes. I'm about to do something brand new. It's bursting out. Don't you see it? There it is. I'm making a road through the desert, rivers and bad lands. What am I saying to you? Sometimes you stand and in what you pray for. But because oh. it's happening right now, you miss it. Mm. Because when you prayed for it, you didn't ask God what it was going to look like. Evangelist, you standing in what you prayed for five months ago. Yes, God. What you prayed for two years ago, but we didn't mm. know what it would look like. We didn't know going around the world, you would just click live. We didn't Jesus. know that expansion and exposure would come from a pandemic. We didn't know elevation Ooh. and promotion would come from a pandemic. We didn't know that he would use the worst of times and turn it around and make it the best of times. Yes. I'm trying to declare to you, your shift is now. Woo. Jesus. The wait is over. Do it now. The Ooh. wait. God. Do it now. Ooh. You don't need another confirmation. Don't text another buddy. Don't even call your best friend. Do it now. Yes, God. Oh, Jesus. He said, I'm mm. coming to you. I'm shifting your mindset. I'm shifting your mouth. And I'm shifting your money. Your conversation is going to be different. Your oh, communication God. is going to be different. Yes. You're going to start calling those things that be not as though they were. Mm, 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 mm. You know, your faith is going to get in your mouth because your mind is getting ready to shift. Do you realize oftentimes we hear about a shift? God said, I got to shift your mind before I shift your feet. Yes. Have you ever gone to a new place with an old mind? Mm. Have you ever gone to a new place and then you brought your old stuff and it looked like the same place? He said, no, make room for more. When, when May came, the first of May, the Lord says, I want you to make room for more. I'm talking to those who have a problem with an empty room. Mm. He said, make room for more. Don't worry about it being empty. Just know who's going to fill it. Oh. Some of us, our relationships are empty. Some of us, our contact list is empty. Some of us, our Facebook friend list is empty because he's telling you to delete, 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 delete. My God. I'm getting you to make some room. I need you to make some room for what I'm getting ready to do in your life right now. This is the season of increase, abundance, and overflow. If I have any entrepreneurs on here right now, I want to speak the blessing of the Lord over your business, clients, customers, contractors, 
proposals and presentations that you yes. keep going to boardrooms uh, that you don't even believe you were qualified for. That somebody somewhere is speaking your name, uh, that the contract is getting ready to be signed. You got to understand God opens doors, uh, but I'm anointed to close deals. You yes! Oh, Jesus! Oh, God, I receive that! So he Ooh, says, somebody said, I'm a closer, I'm a closer, I'm a closer. Ooh, I close the deal. Put a pen in my hand and watch me close the deal. Put a oh. pen in my hand. The worst thing you could do is put a pen in my hand and I'm closing deals. I, I'm signing contracts. I, oh, he said it's final. Ooh, oh, oh, there's Jesus. an approval that's coming to your email. There's an approval that's going to hit you Monday morning. There's an approval that's coming. You've been waiting. But God said, this week is the week. I declare and decree the next 72 hours there Ooh. shall be supernatural miracle signs and wonders God Ooh. is going to do something supernatural in your money who Jesus there's a wealth anointing that hovers over my life and I'll release increase abundance Ooh. and overflow I'm talking about money you didn't work for I'm talking about pillar profits why you yes. sleeping God was blessing I'm talking about money in your bank money in your cash app money in your paypal yes God. You know, that you booked and busy for real it's not just Ooh. the post it's for real oh, oh God he said, there's Ooh. a shift. He said, because I'm trying to get something to you. He said, because if I get something to you, I can get something through you. Purpose is always bigger than you. He said, I'm yes. just shifting you for you. I'm shifting you for them. Who am I talking about? Your aunties and your cousins who watching what God is doing in your life. Who am I talking about? Your mama and your daddy who's watching what God is doing in your life. Who am I talking to? Your co-workers at work who hear you talk all this faith talk, but they have not seen manifestation. The Lord mm. said, this one is personal. I'm a good daddy, Ooh. and I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna be labeled a dead be dad. So I'm coming to take care of my children. I'm coming yes. to my business. This is the season that God is getting ready to respond right now. Mm, my somebody God. shout now. I'm telling you. Somebody Ooh. shout now. Say, I'm standing in what I was praying for. It's happening Ooh. right now. I'm standing in what I was praying for. It's happening right now. I'm standing in what I was praying for. It's happening right now. Wow. Behold, I'm about to do a new thing. Don't be so distracted by the bills. Ooh. Don't be so distracted about, about, about people, places, and things. I'm mm. doing a new thing, and I'm doing it right now. You better look again. I don't care what it looked like yesterday. Ooh. I don't care what it looked like three hours ago. Take another look. I'm doing a new thing. I'm telling you, I'm a challenge some folk right now, evangelist. I need uh, 50 people right now to sow a seed of 4319. Isaiah 4319, because God is doing a new thing in your life right now. But let me tell you something before you sow the seed. Uh, I was in transition. God was shifting my life. And I was starting ministry over, evangelist. I was starting ministry. I was doing Bible study at Denny's. Yes, yeah, smack wow. in the middle of eggs and bacon. I was doing ministry. A lady came in, and, and she would just sit in the back, and she would take notes and, and take up, you know, what I was doing. I didn't know her. She didn't know me. She was just coming to check me out to see if I was real. That's why I pay to live right, because we don't know who's watching and spectating. Yeah. So they become a fan and a follower. Oh, my God. And so she inboxed me on Facebook, and she said, woman of God, I've been coming to your Bible study. I need you to touch and agree. Me and my husband are about to lose everything. We got uh. money held up. We got money tied up, and we're about to lose it all if we don't get the breakthrough that we need. So I came in agreement with her in prayer. Four mm. hours later, mm. she texted me and she said, you're not going to believe this. The breakthrough that we needed just came through. The phone call just came. She says, I My need God. some banking information. I said, yes, ma'am. And now mind you, I just met this woman at Denny's over eggs and bacon. She asked me for my banking information. I said, wait, hold up. Wait a minute now. And the Lord said, give it to her. Uh, she texted me. She said, check your account. I looked in there. She, uh, Shakira, she had put a thousand dollars in my account. Mm, 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 she said, let me tell you something. For, for the things that we're about to lose, I needed that money. Mm. She said, but one thing that I understand, and this blessed my life forever because it wasn't about the money. She says, it's not about the seed. It's about the soil. Yes, God, good ground. 
That thing, Ooh, that thing flat, flatlined me. She said, it ain't about the seed, big or small. It's about the soil. What do you do when you're in the presence of good soil? What Ooh. do you do when you're in the presence of the anointing? What do you do when you're in the midst of divine glory? Ooh, you got to Jesus. put a seed in the ground and, a, mm. and expect a rapid return. I got a rapid return on my life. It ain't nothing you can release out of your hand that won't leave your life. It yes. won't leave your hand, but it won't leave your life. I'm telling you, in 72 hours, there will be a financial shift. Ooh, take place Jesus. In your life. I'm not talking about getting caught up. I'm talking about getting ahead. Mm, 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 mm. So there are those that I need to show. 19, I need you to do that. I mean, don't even think about it. Don't even hesitate because this is a part of the shift. You've got to learn how to trust and obey God. You yes. can tell you something. You don't have to understand to obey. You don't have to understand the trust. You got to know how to move when the waters are trouble. You got to know how to move. This is what the shift is about. He's saying, do you really trust me? Uh, mighty God. And then there are those that I'm going to challenge you because I, I, whether you sow it out of your business, whether you sow it out of your personal account, whether you sow it out of your savings or that stash that's under the mattress. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Oh, Ooh, I, know you got a stash. I know you got some money rolled up in a sock in a drawer. Y'all not saying nothing. There are those that I, I need about 42 people who will sow 143. I, I, got, mm. I got 40 people sowing 43.19. I need, I need a crew of you to say that ain't nothing. That's lightweight. Because what I'm Ooh. expecting it's going to be uh, 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 it's going to be ridiculous it's going to be one of those uh, blessings how did you get there mm -hmm. when did you come out of that mm -hmm. when did you move there mm -hmm. how did that happen mm -hmm. honey I just let a seed release out of my hand and God released the miracle in my life I don't have no rabbit's foot I don't have no gains all I can tell you yes. is a funny kind of prophet and that if you will obey the prophet so shall you prosper. You need to be sowing that seed. I see some of y'all right now saying seed sown, done, done. I'm telling you, God is getting ready to do something significant in your life. Uh. And I tell you this, I don't know how much more time I have. The enemy only comes to intimidate your direction when you have made a decision. I need to comfort some people who said, I just made up my mind. I made uh. up my mind to go forward. I made up my mind to change some things. And then we get mad because here comes the enemy. Here comes the worst attack. Let it be a sign that you did the right thing. Let it be a sign that God is on your side. Your enemy does not uh, uh, intimidate you until you've made a decision about the direction you're about to go. Some of y'all have made some great decisions to follow God and to follow him all the way. Some of y'all have made some great faith decisions that yes. you were excited and scared all at the same time. But I'm telling you this, you better know that if God be for you, Yes, God. He's more than the Ooh. world against you. I came to comfort somebody tonight to let them know whatever you do, don't turn around. No, whatever you do, don't stop. The enemy can only hit. He can't hit a moving target. He can only hit you if you stop. So yes. what do you do? Stop stopping. What do you do? Keep going. What Ooh. do you do? Keep moving. I'm telling you, there is a shift, and the shift is right now. Who? My God. Have your way, woman of God. We still got 30 minutes. Whatever oh, God okay. is leading you to do. Oh, my God. There is a shift and it's happening right now. He's moving so mightily on your behalf. But can I tell you this? Anytime God is testing us, what he says is, he said, I'm going to test those who want to be my servant. We got to be able to endure something in this hour. We got, we got to be able to stand the test of time. We yes. got to be able to stand the test. He's making us. He's preparing us. Can I tell you something? God is not picking on you. He's making you. Yes, God. Ooh, I'm Jesus. sitting in a chair right now that came from a factory. It had to be made. Mm. I trust it because I know it's gone through a process to hold me. I trust it because I know it's gone through a process. Many of us think God is picking on us when we begin to get tested, when we begin to go through trials and situations and circumstances that uh. we can't explain or we don't even understand. He's making you. That's why you got to be careful in this hour what you call yourself. Oh, Jesus. Because all chairs are being made. Not one mm. chair. All chairs go through the process. So you call yourself a prophet, he ain't picking on you. All prophets go through a process. Yes. You call yourself a pastor, he ain't picking on you.
working on you. All pastors go through a process. You call yourself an intercessor, prayer warrior. He not picking on you. All intercessors go through a process. That's why you got to hang around some and talk to them. And they'll testify to you that, baby, you ain't gone through nothing I ain't going through. You ain't been through nothing that I've never been through. But yes. it's the process of him making us. He's preparing to use us. He never tries what he's not getting ready to use. Yes. He work on what he's not getting ready to use. And you've got to know he's preparing you for your next end you now uh, 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 uh. my god and some of us can't understand that and so we keep jumping out of the fire we keep jumping out of the fire but here's Shadrach, meshach and that bad negro yes in the fiery furnace and it was hot but the revelation of who god was was only revealed in the fire nebuchadnezzar looked down he said hold on i thought we put three in there i see four and yes. the fourth one looks like the son of god trying to get out of the fire but it's in the fire that revelation of who god is in your life is going to be revealed or oh, some things only come through the fire but you can here's the reality Ooh. even when i come out i won't look like what i've been through thank you god who oh god his grace is so good Thank you, Lord. Is so everlasting that we don't look like what we've been through. Oh, but don't get it twisted. I didn't been through something. Don't yeah. get it twisted. I got skin in the game. Don't get it twisted. Ooh. I know what rejection is. I know what betrayal is. I know what it is to be lied on. I know what it is to be talked Ooh. about. I know what it is to be divorced. I know what it is to be cheated on. Come I on. Is, but I also know that God can trust me with trouble. I yeah. Know and I know how to turn my Ooh, pain Jesus. into power. He knows that I know how to turn my pain into divine purpose. And I know many of y'all on this broadcast have suffered great pain, but you got to know you only suffered it because he knew he could trust you with trouble. Now yes. what are you going to do with what you've been through? Now it's time to battle it up and get paid for what it is that you had to suffer. He says, listen, I'm going to do something with the pain that you went through. I'm going to do something with the hell that you went through, but you're going to have to put it in my hand. Yes, God. Ooh. And I said, well, Lord, how you going to get glory out of this? How you going to pay me back for all that I've been through? He said, write the book, uh, and I'll make your enemy buy it. Uh. I'll pay you back. I'm trying to tell you. He said, oh, no, you're not just coming out with a testimony. I'm going to make sure you get paid uh, for what the enemy did. He'll know next time not to play with you. Yeah. He'll know next time not to mix with you because you know how to turn pain into power. The Bible says, Simon, Simon, Satan desires to have you that he may sit you as we but i ain't pray for you that sound bad i tell my i tell those in my ministry all the time i ain't praying for you the bible says i prayed that your faith fail not I didn't pray hmm. for you. I didn't pray for your emotions. I ain't pray for your feelings. I yes. pray that your faith. I pray that your foundation. I pray that your strength. I pray that your belief system and who God is don't fail you right now. I know yes. He's placing you down. I know He wants to sift you as weak, but I'm gonna pray that your faith, because we're in an hour now, that people not fail and they faith fail. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, now, yes. we're still walking around. It's our faith. It's our belief system. The believer needs to believe again. We didn't stop believing because you don't know what I'm going through, Bishop. You don't know what I'm going through, Dr. C. I got so much going on. Yeah, I don't have to know what you're going through, but I need to know if you're standing on a solid foundation because no matter what come at you, oh my God, I may I may blow. Uh, the winds may blow. Uh, there used to be a song saying, I weave a wobble, but I don't fall down. Y'all ain't mm. now. Oh yeah, you may shake me a little bit, but I'm not falling. I'm not bowing. I'm not bending. Having yes. to stand, I got to stand. Therefore, I got to stand and see the salvation of the Lord. I've got to behold and know that he's about to do a new thing. I've got to know that the shift is when? Now. Mm. Yes, God. Who but the Jesus. shift is connected to my prayer life. Mm. When mm -hmm. was the last time you had a conversation? with God. The mm. shift is connected to my prayer life. He says, if you want what I got, you're going to have to come closer. If yes. you want what I got, you're going to have to get intimate. Last time I checked, you can't get pregnant from afar. Come on! 
Oh, you got to come into the bed chamber. You got to come closer. There has to be a level of intimacy. How in the world can you know somebody and you don't talk to them? How in the world can you build a relationship with somebody and you don't communicate with them? He said, uh, I need to deal with your prayer life. When was the last time you talked to me? When was the last time you called me before you called him? When was the last time you called me before you called her? What Ooh. number am I on your call list? I've got to come and deal with your prayer life. Who Jesus? Mm. We talking, mm -mm -mm. but we ain't praying. Mm. He said, I need, to, I need you to watch your mouth. Uh, when you talking, but you're not praying, turn that conversation into prayer. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And take it to God as a petition. Take it to God. Lay it at his feet and watch something happen. He says, but I'm coming to shift your prayer life, but I'm coming to shift your partnership. Some yes, things God. we can't get because who around us? Oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't like that. And like I say all the time, all people not bad. They just can't go where you're going. My it, God. It's not that the relationship is bad. They're good people. And, and they've done great. They've walked with you all this time. But I'm trying to tell you, when God begins to talk about elevation and promotion, when God is trying to prepare you for what he's getting ready to do in your life right now, sometimes he got to shift your partnership. Sometimes your circle got to shift. Because when my conversation changed, so does my people. Oh, yes. God, he, got, he got to add some people in your life. He's got to delete some people out of your life. Now, here's what I know. I went to the grocery store before I jumped on the line because my, my my daughter said mama we need some more milk what happened she looked at the expiration date uh. and it said that the milk expired what we failed to realize if she drinking after the expiration date what was supposed to bless her now makes her sick yes people in your life that you have not checked the expiration date last season they blessed you this season they make you sick There's my god jobs that you have not checked the expiration date last Last season you was happy to go to work. This season they make you sick. You uh, got to check the season that you're in. You ooh. got to know that some things expire just like milk. Check the date. Mm, 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 mm. My God. It ooh, used to Jesus. bless you. I told my daughter, I said, pour it out. She poured it out, and what used to flow was clumping. Ah. It had a smell. Oh my God, your presence used to make me smile. Now it's stinking. We used to flow. My, I was thinking and you were thinking too. Now we now we always button heads. See, my God. Trumpet. Something that happened with the flow. My God. Could my God. My God. The season you were in has expired. Could it be <clears throat> that your time is up? Could it be that it's time for me to change partnerships? Because here's what Ooh, I know Jesus. about a divine connection. I never have to change who I am, and you never have to change who you are. What I know about a divine connection, it's a win-win on both sides. Yes. McDonald's and Chevron. Oh, my God. They don't have problem with a divine connection. They don't have problem with collaboration. The golden arches are still golden, and Chevron sign is still red, white, and blue. The gas mm. And sometimes I look at my gas tank and know it's time for a fill-up. But while I'm getting gas, because they partner together, I start smelling fries in a number seven my god my I god fish. and because we do it better together i get a full tank and a full tummy y'all not yes. oh. god got to give you double oh. for your trouble i'll oh. get a full tank and a full tummy this is your hour of divine connection god said i'm getting ready to send some people in your life that will add to you and not take from you they will add to your identity they will add to your genius they will add to your team they will Ooh. add to your marketing they will add to your branding it ought to be a win-win and sometimes we get hungry and, and we want the food from mcdonald's but then i'll look down and realize i need gas y'all not saying nothing so mm. then i'll get the goods and then i'll get the gas yes. the same time, somebody say any way you switch it it's blessing oh blessing oh blessing yes. any way you flip it, it's blessing oh blessing oh blessing any way you flip it it's blessing Ooh. oh blessing oh blessing there are some divine connections some divine partnerships uh, that are getting ready to take place in your life. Uh, some of y'all are waiting on the shift uh, and the shift is coming in the form of a person. Uh, there's oh. somebody that's getting ready to shift your money. Uh, there's somebody getting ready Woo. to shift your ministry. There's somebody getting ready to help shift your mindset. When God wants to do something significant in your life, he sends somebody. Yes! Oh! Get up a hot shakadoho sick. 
Oh my God, yeah, Bosha. There's divine Ooh. connections. There are, there are divine connections that are about to take place. There's a divine shift. Our oh, God is getting ready to send some people that are going to want nothing in return. They on assignment to help you push out what you yes, God. With. They on assignment to help you birth it. They on assignment to get this thing in the earth realm. Oh, there's some people, they don't even know your name. They just connected with what you pregnant with. They just connected Ooh. with what you carry. And so I come against any still births. I come against spiritual abortions. Yes. I come against breakdowns. You're not going to have a miscarriage. You're going to push this vision out. You're going to push this ministry out. You're going to push this dream out. Yes, I know God. they put their foot out so you could trip and fall, so you would lose what God gave you. But I promise you, you got some midwives. You got some helpers this season. That yes. are going to make sure that you push. That are going to make sure that you get in the birth position and you push. What God has placed on the inside of you, they're gonna help you push up with somebody will say, push, push, push. I, I'm deputizing this broadcast right now to be labor and delivery. Anybody pregnant, we're gonna help you birth it. We're gonna yes. help you push it out. Oh no, it's been in you too long, sis. You've been holding it too long. You've been dumbing down too long. You've been acting like you ain't had the goods for too long. Now, this little light of mine, my God, I'm gonna let it shine. Yeah. Oh, I, I, ain't, I ain't tripping on what God gave me. That's greater on the inside. Good was good till I met greater. The school team was good until I met the rich cracker. Oh, yeah, Y'all ain't saying nothing now. God is about to expose you to your next dimension, and he's doing it right now. The yes. shift is taking place right now. It's labor and delivery now. Somebody Ooh. water just broke. Oh, Kadabahasaya. Somebody water just broke. Oh, yeah, you ought to was getting fat. No, you was just getting big. You was just getting large because there's something on the inside of you. Yes, come on. Come out. I was Ooh, pregnant Jesus. with my son, Evangelist, and boy, I was huge. All you could see was stomach. You saw my stomach before you saw me. Mm. And every time I would see people, they would say, when the baby do? I'm like, I got 41 months. They say, no way. It's no way you could get bigger. Uh. And the next time they saw me, guess what? I got bigger. Then they will see me again. How much longer? Surely that baby do. Ooh. I said, no, I got two more months. No way. It's no way you can get bigger. And guess what? The next time they saw me, I kept getting bigger. Mm. They just getting mad at me. But I realized they wasn't mad that I was pregnant. They was mad that I kept getting bigger. Yes. They mad because the thing on the inside of me uh, kept enlarging. Uh, it kept increasing. Ooh. It kept growing. They don't mind you being pregnant. Uh, they just don't want you to get big. Uh, they uh. just don't want you to blow up. Uh, they oh. just don't want you to get fat. Uh, they, oh. oh, my God. They just don't want you to get large. Uh, oh, but I kept getting bigger. I got so big uh, that I went to a doctor's apartment. And he said, hold up, wait a minute. He said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you know how big this baby going to be? If it goes to his due date, I said, no, sir. He said, it's estimated to be 10 pounds, 12 ounces. Wow. Almost hit the floor. I said, what? Mm. He said, so what I'm going to do for you, because there's no way your frame can push out 10 pounds, 12 ounces. Uh-huh. He said, what we're going to do, we're going to schedule a C-section. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want you to hurt yourself trying to birth it. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. Some of y'all, this thing is so big in you that you're afraid to push it because you uh. know it might hurt you. He said, but I love you so much and my grace is so sufficient. I'm going to schedule it. Oh, Jesus. Uh, some stuff you ain't got to push out because uh, heaven going to take it out. Uh, yes, some God. Some stuff you ain't got to push out because uh, God going to get it out. Uh, Hallelujah. Said, Hallelujah. Uh, I'm doing it right now. Uh, I'm Ooh. scheduling a C-section uh, in labor and delivery. Uh, and Ooh. they brought me into the operating room uh, and they began to cut on me. It don't feel good. Uh, oh, they began to cut on me one layer. Uh, it don't feel good. Uh, but he said, your shift is now. Uh, uh. So cut it's necessary. They cut me another layer because they said I got to get to what I put on the inside of you. God made a deposit in your life. He's coming for a withdrawal. He said, that that I put in you, I want it and I want it right now. Yes, that God! I in you, I'm coming for a return and I'm coming right now. They cut me the third layer and I said, oh my God. And they thought they had put me to sleep. I said, no, I'm up because yes. I wanted to feel what was coming out of me. Mm. And the doctor lifted up my son and he said, Bob, 
I said, Bob. I said, no, his name gonna be Cape. Bob. He said, no, B O B, big old boy. And ah! telling you, God about to pull something out of you. He gonna hold it up and he gonna say, Bob, big old ah! blessing. There's a Bob that's getting ready to come out of you, honey. I know it's Bob season, but there's a big old blessing that's getting ready to come out of me. There's a big old miracle that's getting ready to come out of me. There's a big old anointing that's getting ready to come out of me. Somebody they say bomb, 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 bomb. Ooh, Honey, it's just not bomb ooh. season, but it's big old blessing season. There is something supernatural that's coming out ooh. of you now. Your shift is right now. Ooh, Jesus. Woo. Woo. There's a big old blessing coming. Bob, it wasn't the name. He, he was speaking to the largeness of it. He was speaking to the size mm. of it. Y'all don't realize what God is about to do now in your life. It's going to be large. Mm. It's going to be big. It's going to be a blob. It's going to be a blessing that's so big. That's yes, so God. blow folk mind. He's getting ready to confuse your enemy. Because when you could have retaliated, you didn't. When you could have said something, Ooh, you shut your mouth. When you could have sent the text message, that you didn't. He said, but I'm coming to reward you now for what you didn't do then. They laughed at you. They talked about you. And I watched you crying. But here's the Bible. Weeping may endure for a night. Yes. But joy comes in the morning. Morning don't mean 8 a.m. Morning means whenever you wake up. And if you woke right now, good morning. Yes. Who tells them all the time? Good morning is a salutation, but it's a declaration. I say good morning, then I tell the morning to be good. Oh, you uh. have whatsoever you say. He said, I'm gonna teach you how to work your mouth. Good morning, good morning. Now, morning, be good. Yes. I won't have another bad morning. I, I, you, I won't have another bad morning because I didn't already prophesy to my morning. Morning, be good. I yes. wish somebody would prophesy to tomorrow morning. I wish somebody would already tell you. Your Monday while you in Sunday. Uh. You better be good. Morning, be good. I'm expecting you to be good. I'm waking up to good. I'm waking up to manifestation. Wow. I'm waking up to increase. I'm waking up to overflow. I'm mm. waking up to abundance. The phone gonna ring. The email gonna come. Yes, is gonna hit because it's morning time, beloved. You better wake up Ooh. and you better stay woke. Ah, uh, mighty God. Wow, wow, wow. Who Jesus? There's mm. something happening on this broadcast uh, for those that will believe God. There's something supernatural. I'm telling y'all, huh? I'm telling you, if you did not sow huh, the 4319, huh, you mm. better sow it. Huh? Some of y'all need to sow double. Huh? Honey, some uh. stuff that I need from God, huh? honey, I don't even just sow one time. I sow double. Huh? I say, Lord, I'm sowing this for me. Huh? I'm sowing this for the children. Huh? Yes. I'm sowing this for the business. Huh? I need all the seed I can get. Huh? So when my Ooh. harvest come, it overtake me. Huh? So when my harvest come, it come in ways huh? that it just overtake take me. And I'm telling y'all, some of y'all are getting ready to be overtaken by the blessings of God. Yes. Some of y'all are getting ready to be overtaken. Oh, it's going to be a mind-blowing season. He's getting ready to do for you what you can't do for yourself. Oh, God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Oh, God, for you. Thank you. What you can't do for yourself. There's a blessing in the shift. There's a blessing in the shift. Mm. I, I remember I, I had a, I used to have a Range Rover evangelist, and I'd be riding, sitting up high and pretty. You know, <laughs> black too. Honey, you couldn't tell me nothing. And I, I, for a season, I would park, and a man would come by. One man came by. He said, Hey, you didn't get your tires checked. I look at my tires, they look fine. Mm. I look at him like he crazy. I go on. I go to another shopping uh, strip one day, and a man say, hey, ma'am, you need to get your tires checked. Mm. I look at my tires again. I say, what do they see that I don't see? What uh. in the world is going on? And you're thinking they just messing with you, you know? So, but by the time the third guy say something, I said, well, let me go to the mechanic and see what's going on. So I go to the mechanic, and I say, listen, this is about three times men have come to me and told me that I need to get my tires checked. I don't see nothing. What's going on? He began to ask me a series of questions. He says, is your, does, when you ride, does your truck start shaking? Mm. I said, huh? Mm. I said, no. He said, you sure? He said, it's not like it don't feel wobbly. I said, well, you know, 
when I'm when I'm just on the street, I'm good. But when I try to get on the freeway to go higher, so I yes. I said it starts Ooh. shaking a little bit. He said, mm -hmm. okay, okay. He said, uh. if you let go of the steering wheel, will your car stay in its lane? Mm. I said, now it starts veering. Mm. It starts veering in other lanes. He said, mm -hmm. and so by this time he going, mm, mm -hmm. he making all that noise. You know, anytime a mechanic make that kind of noise, that's a hundred dollars every time he do it. Hmm, hundred, hmm, hmm, two hundred. Mm. Exactly. And he said, it sounds like, look what he said. He said, it sounds like you need an alive. Mm. I said, what? He said, yeah. He said, but I won't know till I pull the car into the bank. Because see, it looked good. My car, it was black. It looked like big money on wheels. Mm. When the wheels was turning, it was black. It was shining. It looked good on the outside. He mm. said, but I need to pull it in the bay and I need Ooh. to lift it up. Some of us are getting confused. God said, I got to lift you up and inspect you before I elevate you. So yes. I lift you up to see what's under that. He calls me, said, ma'am, come here. And he had me look inside my tire. Yes. My tire was being eaten from the inside out. Wow. And and, and the Holy Ghost said, that's just like some of my saints. Oh. Look good on the outside. Oh. Shining. Big money on wheels. But they did. But mm -hmm. they say, mm -hmm. when I tell them to go. They start veering because they don't know how to stay in their place. They don't know how to stay on their post. They don't know how to stay in position. Oh, he said, but this is the season that I'm coming to lift you up. Yes. I need you to see what's eating you up from the inside. What am I talking about? I'm talking about unforgiveness. I'm talking about bitterness. I'm wow. talking about you holding on to stuff you need to let go of. You cannot mess up your shit. It's uh. happening right now. But God is about to lift you up so you can get rid of the stuff that's been eating you up on the inside. Mm. Oh, I don't want to look good on the outside. I want to look good on the inside. When yes. the podcast is over, I still want to look good. When I wake up tomorrow, I still want to look good. Yes. He says, I'm coming to your life and put you into divine alignment. I'm coming like a spiritual chiropractor and I'm getting ready to put Ooh. things back in place. Ooh, I heard the Holy Ghost say, pop goes the weasel. Ooh. I'm going to pop your marriage ah. back in place. I'm going to pop your ministry back in place. I'm going to oh, pop your God. mind back in place. I'm going to pop your praise back in place. Yes, I'm going to pop your worship back in place. It's time to get in divine alignment. Why? Because the shift is right. Oh, the shift Ooh, is right Jesus. now. It's happening right now. Ooh. It's happening for me right now. He's doing it for me right now. Ooh. Shift us, Holy God. Yes. Shift us, God. Ooh. Take us to new dimensions. Yes. Take us to new realms. Thank you for expansion. Thank you for exposure. Yes. Thank you for elevation. Push us into our necks. Push us into new places. Ooh. Do it for us right now. Oh. Let us experience your glory. Let us experience it now. Let us experience your healing. Let us experience it now. In person under the sound of my voice, I come against all discomfort. I come against all sickness and disease. I speak to the free and delivered by the power of the Holy Ghost. I come against cancer. I come against high yes. blood pressure. I come against lupus. I come against diabetes. Oh, yes. You have to humble yourself under the presence of the Holy Ghost. I command your body to operate in the capacity where mm. God created it. I command your organs to line up. I speak mm. to your liver. I speak to your lungs. I mm. speak to heart conditions. And I say, be thou made whole. There's a shift coming to your life, uh, and it's coming right now. Who God, I thank you. Mm. It's happening right now. Evangelist, oh God, you have created an atmosphere. 
for mm. miracles to take place today. Yes, God. You have created an atmosphere. Huh? Yes, God. We are on this broadcast. Huh? We are on it under an open heaven. Huh? Oh, my God. Huh? Huh? Prayers are being answered huh? while we're on this broadcast. Huh? I can't see their face, huh? but there are tears that are flowing. Huh? And I say, let them flow, woman of God. Huh? God understands your tears. Huh? Uh, yes. All heaviness that rests upon your shoulder. Huh? Mm. May it be lifted now in the name of Jesus. Huh? Yes. May the yoke, huh? may the burden and her, that has been on you heavy. Her. May it be lifted now in the name of Jesus. Her, mm. To the one with insomnia, her, I command that you will rest tonight. Her. I yes. release peace unto you tonight. Her. The one that's tossing and turning all night, her, that can't keep uh, a, a good night's rest because the enemy comes to torment you by night. Her. I mm. declare that you're going to rest like you never rested before. Her. I command that the Holy Ghost her, is going to rock you to sleep tonight. There's going to be peace her, that Bro, can pass your own her, understanding. Yeah, oh God, if you're the entrepreneur, oh, I'm telling you there are deals that are getting ready to come your way. Oh, you shit. missed them last season, but God said, here comes another chance. Oh, I'm getting ready to give you another opportunity of that that you missed. There's oh, supernatural contracts. There's supernatural favor that's getting ready to be released to you now in the name of Jesus. Who is this that's grieving? Oh God, there's grief upon you for the those that you have lost, for the loved ones that you have lost. I declare closure in your heart. Right. I Such declare that God is getting ready to comfort you uh, like only yeah, he no, can. No, 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 no. And I know you're going to miss them, uh, but right. the legacy will live on with you. Yes. There are mantles that are falling. Uh, what oh, God promised you. them uh, is falling upon your life. Uh, you right. shall do great exploits in this season. Uh, God says, I'm going to use you mightily. If you're right. only in, you're in the fivefold ministry, uh, I want you to lift up your hands uh, because God yeah. is getting ready to do something supernatural uh, through your life. I'm talking to apostles, I'm talking to pastors, I'm talking to prophets, I'm talking to teachers, and I'm talking to evangelists. God is getting ready to push you further. Oh God, that kingdom influence. God said, I spoke international ministry. I spoke global ministry. And that that you have done in rooms, you get ready to do in regions. Yes. Get ready to catapult your name across bodies of water, says the Lord. I'm getting ready to catapult Pope your name. Yes, God. Bodies of water in mm. Africa, in South America, Ooh, in Europe. Ramando Kosha. Yes, it's been a difficult season. But the Holy Ghost said I was shifting you. I was preparing you for yes. prepared people. I was preparing you for mm. people that was waiting on you. Yes. And tonight, your now begins. And tonight, Tonight, uh, I release you uh, globally. Uh, I release yes. you uh, internationally. Mm. They shall know your name. Uh, they shall know your God. Uh, mm. And there's a glory uh, that mm. shall be released. Uh, there's a glory uh, that Ooh, shall Jesus. be revealed in mm. the name of Jesus. Wow, 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 wow. Oh. Mm. Ramanda <laughs> <laughs> In the car, in the mm. bedroom, shift, 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 mm, shift, 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 shift my children, shift uh, my spouse, shift the dog, shift the cat, uh, shift, 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 it's happening right now, yes. everything that concerns you, there's mm. a divine shift that's taking place, mm. everything that concerns you, there's a divine shift that's taking yes, place, God. God is disrupting your atmosphere, oh Jesus. And I'm telling you, the next 72 hours, by the power invested in me in the realm of the spirit, yes, I declare and decree miracles, signs, mm. and wonders. Yes, I God. declare documented 
miracles. I declare that you will get testimonies in the next 72 hours. That will be mind-blowing. Somebody going to go to the doctor and they're not going to be able to find what they saw last week. Somebody going to go to their bank and it's going to be supernatural money in their house. Somebody's going to find their daughter that they have not seen in some time. For somebody, the phone is going to ring and there'll be reconciliation in yes. relationships. There is a divine shift that's taking place mm. and it's happening right now. Mm, 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 mm. Woman of God, I, I, I want to thank you for coming on. Um, I need you. I need you to give them information on how they can follow you on social media, how they can find your church, um, just all the information because I see a lot of people asking me um, who, you, who you are and where they can reach you. If you can give them the information, please, where they can purchase the books, everything. Lay the information out, please. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Listen, I am Dr. Connie Stewart, Senior Pastor of Believers Empowerment Church in Houston, Texas. Right now, we are worshiping at the Hyatt Regency Hotel, 425 North Sam Houston, Parkway North. I think I have an assistant on here that they'll drop that. You can follow me on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and guess what? Now I'm on TikTok. Hey! Hey, hey, now I'm on TikTok and I'm at Dr. Connie Stewart, S-T-E-W-A-R-T on all social media platforms. Listen, God is doing some supernatural. I love to connect with you. I'm excited and honored to be here on tonight. I believe in this great woman of God. I believe with the call and the assignment that is on her life. And so anytime I get an opportunity and chance yes. to collaborate, connect and partner with her, I stop, drop and roll. I stop yes. what I'm doing and I show up. And I I believe that God is going to honor this sacrifice tonight. Mm. I believe that every Ooh. seed that you sown, God is going to manifest it. I believe mm. that increase and abundance shall be your portion. I believe that God has done something while you are under the sound of my voice tonight. Yes. I believe that by this time tomorrow, mm. you'll know that a shift has taken place in your yes. life. Yes. Thank you so much, Dr. Kearney. I'm going to call you right after this. Okay. Oh, when I tell you, y'all better stop what y'all doing and follow that woman of God on Facebook, on Instagram, on on uh, uh, TikTok now. I mean, from the moment she jumped on, it was nothing but fire. This woman had my contact slide. Look at my wig. My wig lifting. That's when you know the shift done hit. When that wig started lifting up, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, she challenged y'all to sew. I'm going to sew back and tickle as soon as I get off this live. Y'all better not miss the move because the shift is now. This was night five with Dr. Connie Stewart. When I tell you she bought that five from beginning to end, night five every night. If you are just now tuning in for the first time, God uh, told me to do a 30-day. 30-day social media revival, people of God, every night, a different minister have been bringing something different, and it is shifting us to where we need to be. She just decreed in 72 hours, it's done. I'm believing it by tomorrow. You get me? I'm believing it by tomorrow. That's why I'm about to put a tomorrow seed in. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Follow this woman of God, Connie Stewart. Check the comments. Y'all see me put them there. You'll see her tag to the live. I'm going to save it now. Go back and watch all the lives before uh, today also. Meet me here. This is night five. We got another 25 nights, honey. 10 p.m. Eastern time. You don't want to miss it. Why? The shift is now.